Hello guys, and glad to have you on board again today. You all know which day it is, uh, Christmas celebrations are due today, and I of course wish you all uh, a Merry Christmas and all by advance a Happy New Year, because yes, we're probably not going to be talking to each other until that date. Uh, so enjoy your celebration, spend some time with friends and family, you know the drill, so uh, uh, enjoy. In the same time, I wanted to record that thing today to kind of give you uh, 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 my best wishes first, but also show you uh, uh, the kind of keynotes changes headed into 2023 for pro indicators in general. So kind of my New Year's uh, resolutions for pro indicators and share them with you guys in here. We've all seen 2022 being a complicated year for investment. Uh, most of us have not made profit this year. That also includes me, uh, which have had a hard time at least stabilizing the accounts uh, uh, without uh, taking too much damage. The thing is that, well, 2022, therefore, I've been a very, very much trading focused year and therefore very few changes have been made to the indicators. So on pro indicators from 2022 has been kind of an odd year. Uh, I've been improving on those indicators for years, and even though this year I tried to improve the indicators as well in the background, just to give you the TLDR of the story, this is kind of like a, a, a um, parabolic reduction structure, which is basically a lot of improvements on the indicators I've been doing, have been done in the early ages, and just TLDR, these indicators uh, have been started like seven years ago or something earlier versions date back down there so that's really the thing it is it's been seven years of evolution and today we're reaching the point in which even though i would spend a lot more hours in trying to improve those indicators the net result is diminishing so it's basically the area in which i consider the development job for these tools pretty much uh, uh, terminated i still will readjust some parameters at some point but it will be very limited, uh, barely invisible type of upgrades. So that's one thing. The maturity stage of these indicators heading into 2023 is that you must not expect radical changes to these indicators. Most of the successful job has been done so far. So despite fine tuning, nothing is going to change. So that's one thing for you guys. All of you who have been uh, uh, learning with those indicators uh, more or less longer for some of you guys, can have one thing for sure now. The direction the indicators have today is the direction they will still have, probably years from now. I expect very few changes on that front. So the tools you've been learning with are not going to change. Now you have the sustainability of it. On a second factor, if you remember that, a uh, post-COVID breakdown and stuff like that, uh, um, uh, we had the lockdowns and I back then have decided to pull these indicators out for free, which means basically for almost a year, the indicators access have been free to everyone requesting access. Uh, starting, I think it was um, pretty much in June or I don't remember. I oh, know I think it was August uh, 2020. I've restarted uh, the indicators access uh, to this and basically um, what it ended up being is that I've introduced a 20 month cap to access lifetime uh, uh, on the indicators, which means basically now you have a cap on how much you spend to get access for these indicators forever. So this has been introduced back then. And of course, they will come in due force earlier next year. So for those who have uh, re-signed up uh, back in those days, the 20 month cap is going to be reached earlier this year. That means your payments will stop and your indicators access will be there forever. So for these guys, you have uh, um, two informations to take out of this uh, today's podcast. The first one is you're finally going to reach after uh, 20 months of consecutive payments uh, your payments should stop automatically. PayPal should be handling this, which means you simply don't have to do anything. The payments will stop on themselves and your indicator access will remain active and you will have access to those indicators forever on. So that's really the way it is. Uh, the indicators access has always been the same, meaning that every uh, uh, tool on the kit is accessible with this subscription, which means if you've uh, reached the lifetime cap, then basically, of course, any upgrade on those three indicators will be included. Though the pro financial stuff that I showed you is going to be there as well. Uh, uh, so it, this one is coming along the way. This is probably the latest technical addition that there will be on the pro indicators. Uh, for those who don't know anything of what I'm talking about, I'll just show it to you. I'm sorry. This is basically uh, a tool for advanced user of the strategy, which is going to make use of 
financials, which is basically <clears throat> you're going to be able, if you look at a stock, though in here, for example, I'm looking at an Apple, uh, you will be able to have a breakdown of the earnings release statistics in a very, very uh, practical way. You're going to have revenues, earnings per share, and you have a breakdown of the revenue bar, growth, profit, and net profits breakdown. So basically how much money the company made, how much margin does it take, are the margin improving, reducing, and all of these things that you can see in a very much condensed way. So this tool has been uh, 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 put it in a hold for a long time. 2022 has been a rough year, and I had to spend much more time into trading and managing uh, the community and the psychology of investors to try not to just break down. So it's been a rough year for everyone. Uh, 2023, I think I will focus on this and try to put an end to this dev job, which means I'm going to put the latest increments into that parabolic curve that we've highlighted earlier, which means most of the breakthrough of these indicators uh, improvements have been done in the past. There's still marginal increments to exist, one of them being the inclusion of pro-financials. Uh, uh, the thing is that... Uh, um, uh, there are some other things that I would like to update in framework and momentum, mostly uh, uh, on the UI side. Uh, so that's basically what I'm going to be showing you today, because uh, as a Christmas gift, uh, I decided to release that update. It will be released probably uh, tomorrow or so, because it's going to eventually I'll do it this afternoon if I can, or just probably going to release it tomorrow, just like a Christmas gift from Pro Indicators. So. Uh, that's the way it's going to be. Okay, so I'll show you what this thing is all about. So uh, uh, just a tiny mark is that the pro financial update is not going to be included for now. I intend to include it eventually into the pro alert stuff, which is more anyway, a, a, a advanced trader experience, which is basically uh, using multi time frame and those alerts uh, and stuff is more for those who are already very familiar with the use uh, uh, and use cases of the indicator. Um, so, like I said, Pro Financial is more of a um, advanced tool in the kit. So, uh, beginners in that session uh, using the indicators for the first time or so for the first month clearly don't make use of these. Okay, so this is separated stuff which is going to be released probably earlier next year. So despite that, like I said, major improvements that I've made lately are going to be on the UI side. And that comes along with a massive change that will be on my 2023 resolution. There's one thing that has always been the case since then. A lot of people have been complaining about that. And to be honest, I've always uh, um, um, been clear about that, that it was a definite choice from my end to do this. Uh, what I'm referring to is the complexity of the indicator sets and all of the actual knowledge to teach it, uh, basically the PDF manual, the trading lessons video and so on. They're all overly complicated. And like I've always said, it's been designed that way. It has been a choice uh, that I've made and that I stood for until then, which was basically, I know this is utterly complicated for the general folks, but I will keep it that way. I will not try to make things easier for the general public to use my indicators because I don't want too many users. The reason was pretty simple, and I hope you would understand that way, is that I was the only one uh, handling that community, a single person to handle 10,000 people in a Discord uh, and a YouTube channel without ever a single dollar spent. So this was basically a, a tremendous uh, magical thing that happened in here because it should have broke down way, way earlier than that. And still, this thing has its up and downs, but it's still there. Years later, without a single dollar spent, no one has ever been paid into this Discord. You have to understand, there is no community manager. All, everyone in here is working as a volunteer. And this is really, really, in my humble opinion, uh, like magic that it's been sustained so long. It should have crashed long ago. So, uh, of course, these are the things that I think we're going to have to work upon uh, when it's heading into 2023. And these are the things, the new resolutions that I'm willing to take. I'm finally willing to change my mind on that front. And I think uh, that it passes through a multiple set of the dates that I will release today. So the first one being I will change the set of indicators in their UI and UX type of stuff, which is going to be, let me just show you basically what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, uh, this is framework. So this is going to be version 5.2. Uh, uh, 
which is uh, going to be released, like I said, next few hours or tomorrow, uh, probably. Though it is a complicated set of indicators, I've always said it, uh, this is not the same old usual buy-sell shit that you will see uh, in the marketplaces. Uh, this is a complicated set of tools. You, you can see this is just half of the code itself minimized. So this is really complicated stuff. I'm already reaching out the maximum complexity uh, that TradingView can offer, meaning that if I added some more code to this with new features and stuff, and stuff like that, like the Pro Financials, which I actually tried to implement into Frameworks code, simply actually just can't work. Which means the problem with this thing is that it's overly complicated already in terms of TradingView's limitations. So, like I said earlier, don't expect any major changes to the indicator. They've reached maturity already, uh, so your tools aren't going to change that much. What is going to change instead is their look. So let me show you what it actually will look like. So if I had this thing to the chart right now, you will have an immediate pop, which means even before using the indicator, you will have to choose the difficulty level, which is basically where are you and how much do you mature uh, in the strategy's progression. So uh, beginners will have to start with a range, which is basically, like I've always said, this is a step incremental uh, progression that you, there is in the strategy and the indicators, I think, will have to uh, incrementally go harder as well, which means for the early stages of the strategy, you don't need the whole set of stuff. You need a simple UI so that things don't uh, uh, are overwhelmingly complicated to you guys. What it means is that basically some of the things that are in the strategy today are going to be removed so that you don't necessarily have too many information. First thing is that, for example, for the beginners, the actual trend channel is going to disappear, uh, uh, which means you don't necessarily need it in the early stages when it comes to range learning. Well, the trend channel isn't absolutely necessary. The thing is that this update will be coordinated between uh, momentum and framework. And let me show you what it looks like in terms of momentum. All right. So same story in here, the same mode as are going to be available in here, just three of them. Uh, there will be the fourth one, like I said, if I eventually include uh, uh, the pro uh, financials in here, I don't know yet. This is just a final stage. But for now, it's going to be three stage for this one. And the beginner one is going to be much, much easier for you to read. Uh, give it a second to plot. Okay, so this is basically what you will have in the early stages, because I think beginners don't need anything more than that. That means the momentum line has disappeared. It's not visible and you don't actually need it. What you will have instead is the sine wave, the typical sine wave on the local time frame. And as it is, you never trade uh, uh, to the downside unless the uh, uh, sine wave is in here. And that goes on that way. That means here is the only area in which you can buy and so on, okay? You still have access to the signals and stuff like that, but you don't have all the additional toolkit which makes things overcomplicated. So when you start looking at ranges, this is the way it is. You have a timing indicator, you have a risk limitation signal, and you don't need to do anything more than that. You don't anticipate signal that doesn't exist. You go easy on that one. You Sorry, wrong button. You still have the same old triangle stuff uh, available in here, okay? That gives you the price reaction. So remember, all of the tools that are there will be maintained. I will just make it easy on you guys for some other stuff. There is no more trend channel when it comes to range because basically there are no trends inside ranges. Uh, uh, though that will and should make things a lot easier. So that's the first step uh, of evolution of pro indicators headed into 2023. Like I said, I will uh, progressively lower the barrier of entry in terms of complexity. The first one being that the indicators will be updated, meaning that the, the software changes first. The tools you use will be updated according to that massive change uh, uh, in the uh, kind of structural thing of the knowledge. The second thing is, of course, that one isn't new. I'm going to take care of it early 2023 as my top thing in the to-do list, revamping the trading lessons. Basically, what it is, is that those trading lessons are more than two to three years old now. And lots of things have changed until then. I will take good use of all the knowledge that I've been able to gather, uh, both from teaching you at a distance and also teaching in person right here uh, uh, in my in my personal uh, living place uh, uh, with people who've been coming every week consistently for a few years now that have been helping me to fine tune my skills. Uh, in terms of teaching my strategy to uh, people. So I will make good use of it. And uh, that's also the reason why I think it's now appropriate to lower the barrier for entry. So to allow more people in with a more 
uh, uh, um, precise and concise way of teaching the early stages of the strategy. Basically, I got to understand that you don't necessarily all want to be professional traders. That's what I wanted to do in the first place. I didn't want to teach to everyone. I wanted to teach to those who want to be in the highest set of skills of trading. So that has been the choice till then. I rather liked to choose limiting the community size by voluntarily increasing and maintaining a high level of difficulty and a high barrier for entry to the strategy so that the lazy ones uh, uh, or the less experienced traders will naturally be pulled away because it's too complicated for them. So this is what's going to change. I'm going to make things a bit easier without, oh, of course, going on in an 80 degree. Uh, 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 trading isn't simple, never will be. So there still be a level of complexity, but I'll seriously decrease the barrier for entry. Though reforming those trading lessons is going to be the case. The PDF manual may eventually be revamped at a later stage in the second uh, semester eventually, but that's still something I haven't made my mind entirely clear about. I think the PDF has to remain overly complicated uh, for those who don't take time to go through the trading lesson, but it's going to be far more easier now. Meaning if you finally get through the PDF's complexity and head on into the Discord and start looking at the trading lessons, and actually using the indicators themselves. This is where I think things have to be easier for you. I still voluntarily put some uh, complicated stuff in the process until you get to the trading lesson so that there is still kind of a natural filtering of the lazy ones, uh, uh, though that the community as big as it is uh, just keeps on having motivated people, not just tourists who don't give a fuck. So uh, that's the way it is. I'm not going to change the PDF, or at least not now, but I'm going to change all of the educational stuff uh, to make it easier for you to understand. Uh, this is coming early 2023, as long as uh, this indicator update, which is going to come within the next few days and hours. Okay, so uh, that being said, that is all the Yearns 2023 New Year's uh, resolutions for Pro Indicators that I wanted to share with you guys today. Uh, the Christmas present uh, going to be released tomorrow. Uh, like I said, none of the indicator changes is very fundamental. It's just kind of a new UI, UX update. And I sincerely invite every one of you who is currently learning the strategy with those tools to update the indicator to that new version to be smart enough not to overstate your current position in the strategy's progression. If you are still a beginner learning ranges, I sincerely invite you to use those more uh, um, uh, less intrusive type of uh, UI, which means there are less things in the screen, which makes easier for you to process correctly the information that you're supposed to process. Uh, when you're learning range in context and so on. As you progress, of course, things will start to go in. You will start to have the trending channel just to show you how it goes. Like if you go intermediate in here, you will have the ability to start looking at this, which means basically I suggest you should turn on historical alerts. Okay. And this is the way it is. You're going to start to be able to see more of the trending kind of alert system, which are the blue and red squares. When you are in the range, and if you activate historical alerts, which I suggest you do, just look at back then, okay, beginners will only see the range in context, okay? You won't be able to see these ones, neither therefore to receive alerts on these ones, okay? But just to make it easy on you, remember that the indicators provide their own set of detection, which means if you turn on those, act the, the, those alerts, you, you will be alerted whenever there is a range. So you don't necessarily have to scroll thousands of charts to find ranges you just have to look on for those alerts uh, uh, coming along through 2023 is going to be a dashboard a dashboard that's going to be available for everyone uh, uh, having access to the indicators and basically what it is is that that dashboard will scroll through a, a selected set of assets stocks commodities major assets and uh, this dashboard is going to take the form of a table in which basically all of those signals will be displayed that's the way it is. So that's going to make everyone uh, uh, who are looking at practicing the strategy, searching for different types of context to be able to have kind of a watch list of assets that might be interesting at the moment. Remember that those signals are not trading signals. I've always made it clear and these things doesn't change, even though people may use that way. They can be used that way, but it's not the way they're meant to be used. Uh, use them as detection tools so that if you're learning ranging context, well, look for ranging context alerts. If you're looking at learning trending signals, then look for trend 
signal alerts and stuff like that. Okay, so this is more of a semi-automatic detective tool that can help you getting into the context that you're trying to learn. Okay, of course, these are pretty, pretty good signals, but don't use them as buy sell, please. Okay, so that's the way it is when you use it as a beginner, you have a limited set of actions, more of them are ranging context oriented, and you don't have all the fancy stuff that make no use in the range, which, which means basically in a range, all you care about is the breakout signals and stuff like that. Okay, if you switch to more intermediate trend system, what you will be able to see in here is the appearance of the trend channel that goes along with it. And of course, now the trending contexts are detected according to this. Uh, that requires you to be able to navigate throughout the timeframes correctly, though these are the things normally uh, the ranging progression of the strategy should have taught you already. Uh, and that's the way it is. There are not that many new stuff, which means basically when it updates as well in sites of framework, the intermediate set will, will teach you uh, how to use trend sine wave, which is gonna add up in here, okay? So basically when you go into trend, you're gonna need trend cycle and the trend channel as well will be introduced in the set and the trading lesson will teach you how to make good use of them. I'll make them way, way easier than the way there is, okay? Of course, on top of this comes the more expert stuff, which is where you start diving into volatility uh, and stuff like that. So this is where when you go expert, meaning that you master trends and range context, you're gonna be able to use volatility derivatives. Uh, uh, in here, basically Bollinger Bands uh, uh, are the most suited tool for, the, for, for this task. Um, and you will have the appearance of this. And of course comes the end of the progression when you go into full volatility mode, which is basically even the trend channel is going to turn into a Bollinger Band. So this is the way it is. As you progress to the strategy, first you need to learn on the low risk end of the curve, how to detect the low risk strategies, the low risk areas, and then you progress uh, toward more riskier takes, meaning going into the shorter time frames. Uh, and learning how to trade flows. Flows are, basic, uh, are major um, components of the strategy that will be introduced in 2023. I'll teach you how to trade volatility, but I've made it clear it requires understanding uh, uh, and uh, mastering of low risk strategies first, meaning that it may sound easy to trade volatility. And that's like the perfect tool. It always works well. It always works when you know how to handle it. That means you already know where the low risk strategy is because that one will forever be more efficient than volatility. Volatility is the thing that just fills the gap, fills the air gap in between. Though that's really the way it is. That's the standpoint for 2023. I'll make things easier for you guys. I'll the redefine the UI, both on the video side and on the toolkit as well. Uh, and the update is going to be released tomorrow. That being said, I wish you guys pleasant, pleasant holidays and see you all in 2023.